In part two of InkFrog's Amazon integration, we'll be importing your Amazon products in order to list to eBay. Log into your InkFrog Open account at inkfrog.com, select InkFrog Open, and choose Login. From the InkFrog dashboard, select the Import from Store button. InkFrog will request a listing report from Amazon in order to build the list of products available to import from your Amazon account. Once the build completes, you will be able to proceed with importing your products. On the import page, you'll notice a row of three buttons at the top right corner. The first button indicated at the top right of the screen is the refresh button. Once selected, the import page will refresh the available products to import from Amazon. This may be used to update the available product list after you've added new products to Amazon that you would like to import into eProd. The second button indicated at the top right of the screen is the Rebuild button. Once selected, the Rebuild button will rebuild every available product for import from Amazon that has not yet been imported into eProd. Depending on your Amazon product count, this could take some time to rebuild. The gear button. This settings button is where you're able to access your initial setup settings, create additional setup settings, as well as access your sync setting. Select products from Amazon and review. Your choices are import all products, which will import all available products from Amazon in one import, or manually select which products to import, which will offer you the ability to choose which products to import from Amazon to InkFrog. If you've chosen to import all available products from Amazon, select the Next button. If you've chosen to manually select which products to import, select the Select Products button. If you've selected Import All, you will be at the Review, Map, and List page. If you've chosen Manually Select, you will be at the Product Selection page. Prior to selecting the products to import, you are able to set filters or use search keywords to display products that will share the same eBay subcategory. Once you've chosen the listings that you would like to import, use the green button to the right of each title to select those products for import. You'll find pagination arrows at the bottom left of this window. Once you've completed making your selections, click the Done button. The products you've selected for import will appear on the Review page. If you would like to add additional products to the import, select Add More Products. If your product selections are complete, choose the Next button. Using eBay's best practices, your products will be listed with a good till canceled listing duration, if available, new item conditions, and other item specifics. It's best to review individual listings for accuracy. Review eBay categories, confirm brands and product identifiers, provide accurate item condition, provide additional item specifics. At the Review Map and List page, you may see a few different notifications. These notifications are indicated by the yellow triangle, orange triangle, blue link, and green checkmark. The yellow triangle is a notification. It's only a warning indicating that the software detected that there are product variations associated with that particular product, but that the eBay subcategory selected does not allow for variations. To help determine a better subcategory to allow the variations to import and be listed, please use this interactive link. If you choose not to update the eBay category, the product will import, but only the first variant of the product will import and be sent to eBay. Orange Triangle. This notification indicates that the software was unable to determine an appropriate eBay subcategory for that particular product. You are able to click on the product title, view the product detail over to the right side of the page, and then under Listing Details, click Browse and select the eBay category and subcategory.
Okay. Next, fill in any other required information such as item condition or item specifics and scroll to the bottom of the product details and select save settings. If you choose to not update the eBay category, the product will not import. Blue link. This notification indicates that the software determined that this product already exists within your Inkfrog library and that the library listing is not yet linked to an Amazon product. When eBay listings are products that exist currently in Amazon and you attempt to import them, the Inkfrog software will attempt to match the listings. When this occurs, you will see the blue link to the left of the listing title. This indicates that upon import, that particular product will be mapped to an existing eBay listing instead of imported and launched as a new listing. Green check mark. This notification indicates that the software attempted to find an eBay subcategory that is best suited for the product based upon the product title. If you would like to review the subcategories that were automatically selected prior to completing the import, Click on the product title. On the right side of the page, scroll through the details and you will find which eBay category has been selected. If you feel that category is not the best available for the product, you're able to change the category, then fill in any required item specifics and item condition, then click Save. If you've chosen to import products from Amazon that share the same eBay category, you're able to bulk set the category on the Review Map and List page. Select the Change Category for All Products and List button. Select the eBay category. Once the category selection is complete, the products will all be set to the chosen category and are ready for import. If you would prefer to bulk set your brand for all listings prior to importing, select the title of one product on the left side of the Review, Map, and List page. If brand is an offered field in this eBay category, scroll down to that field on the right side of the page. Type in your brand, then choose the gear icon to the right of brand and select apply to all products. The brand designation that you entered will apply to all products on the ready to import list. You're now ready to finalize the import. Select the import and list button. Next, select Import and List to eBay or Import Only. If you select Import Only, the eBay listings will be built and stored in a ready-to-list status within your Inkfrog library. If you select Import and List to eBay, select the I understand that eBay fees may apply box, then choose Start and List. Once the listings are built, they will be launched to eBay. Once your import is complete, you will be in the Inkfrog library. To continue importing additional products from Amazon, select the Import button and choose From Store. This completes the import for Amazon products into your Inkfrog account. Please proceed to the next tutorial, which will cover eBay title best practices, eBay shipping best practices, and what to do once an item sells on eBay.